Hi. Hi, Brian. Nice to meet you. My name is Dennis Davila from Puerto Rico. Hey, what's going on, man? I love this role. Yeah, do it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Really excited to talk to you. Congratulations on Transformers. You know, it was great. I had an amazing time and I loved your work. Thank you. Uh, as Megatron. Thank you. So how, how was the working process with the rest of this amazing cast and obviously all the talented people that were involved in this movie? It's very interesting because you don't really get a chance to hang out with the cast until the movie's made. We're all mm -hmm. in different parts of the country. We're all in our own booths, which I think is kind of the the magic of animation, right? You have to have such a wide imagination to to do animation and to voice animation because the world usually isn't developed when you start. And so what you bring in the booth is usually something that will absolutely inform the universe that you see before you. So, you know, I think for me, what was so great about this movie is that it's an origin story. And I love origin stories. Like, I, I, I'm always like, what, well, how did they become who we know them to be? Like, where did they start? Like, did they like French fries when they were kids? Like, I'm that I'm that dude. Like, I just love that stuff. And so when we got a chance to crack open the origin of Optimus and Megatron, like two of the most iconic foes, you know, of our generation, um, it was terrifying. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, like, I don't know. Like, how how do you crack that open? Um, but with the direction of our, our director, Josh Cooley, who is truly a fan of this franchise and truly a fan of, of this kind of storytelling, you know, we were in good hands. Um, and... He allowed us to explore a lot of things. You know, I I, mm -hmm. I put uh, D16, which is Young Megatron and Orion Pax, Young Optimus Prime. I was like, this is them, like, I think in their early 20s, right? Like, I think this is when they're from boys to men. Like, what what does that mean? What is that rite of passage time? And so I just tried to, like, inject who I was when I was 20, 21. You know, this this young, hard-headed kid in, in college, like, away from home, trying to figure out what kind of man I wanted to be in the world. And so that helped inform, you know, how I voiced uh, Megatron when it was younger. I, I really added a lot of elements that were me. I didn't want to, like, put on any kind of, you know, gruff or any kind of scruff for him. I was like, this is him before he's been hardened. This is him before he's been disillusioned about what the world is. But also there's a lightheartedness. There's a playfulness. Like, you get to see them play. You get to see them be, like, you know, like, silly and, and figure out and be afraid. You know, you get to see them actually, like, you know, question things. So it, it, it's really amazing what animation can do, especially this one, because now we're on Cybertron. We get to see where they started. We can see their home planet without humans because humans complicate everything. So like we get to see um, the Transformers and their natural habitat and we get to actually see them discover who they are, like truly who they are and who they want to be in the world. Oh my God, you just answered all my questions and yeah. that's amazing. There we go. Is... <laughs> so I have my final questions because I have one minute left. Okay. What are your top three Transformers of all time? Well, Megatron, clearly. Um, and, Obviously. Like, <laughs> duh. There is also Starscream, you know, like like Starscream yeah. is great. Starscream was like a boombox. So, so a boombox, I don't know what generation you are, was a device with which you played Cassette tapes. Okay, so cassette tapes are these things. Uh -huh. I'm just kidding. Uh, and, and, <laughs> and you know what? Look, Alita is pretty dope. Like, Alita is yeah. holding it down. Like, she is truly, like, one of the most, like, powerful, like, just coolest Transformer there is, you know? So those are my top three. That's great. Last question, because I still have one minute. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you have? What do you hope fans take away, you know, from this version of Megatron and the entire film of Transformers. Well, I'm hoping that with this introduction of Transformers that there's a whole new fan base, you know, like there's a whole, you know, like because this this story's been around since the 80s, you know, it's very yes. much a part of our ownership of as 80s kids and has literally been around for over 40 years. So to see mm -hmm. the legacy of, of this story reach new audiences and, and, and create new fandom is really exciting for me. But I'm also hoping the people from my generation are just like, oh, this is really great. Like uh, we're telling it in a way that we've never seen before. So I'm hoping that across the board, every generation feels ownership and feels excitement about where this story is going and where it started. Yeah. Well, my time is up, Brian. Thank you so much. I wish you well in your okay. career. I'm a big fan of your voice acting and all your projects. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, man.